Worcester Warriors hosted Gloucester at six ways, looking to claim their first win of the season after spirited performances against Bath and Leicester, while the Cherry and Whites were looking for win number two. And it was the visitors who struck first. The Sean Billy 12 tree starting in front of injured Freddie Burns, launching a huge kick from just inside halfway. Andy Good got the Warriors on the board after 13 minutes, but was wide with his next attempt. While Billy 12 trees extended the lead to 6 3 when the hosts encroached offside. Good saw yellow when he blocked Henry Trinder, but the visitors failed to take advantage. James Simpson Daniel failing to hold on to Dan Robson's pass, and the score remained 3 6 at half time. With Good in the bin, it was left to understudy Joe Carlisle to take over the kicking and the 24-year-old levelled the scores just after the break. Burns was introduced on the hour mark, and despite Worcester being in the ascendancy, it was Gloucester who crossed the whitewash first. And it was a typical length of the pitch Gloucester effort, Trinder rounding off the move that would make Richard Hill envious of such finishing. Burns converted for a 13-6 lead, but then Hill got his try. Josh Dranunui's mazy run helping to set up Lock James Percival who offloaded brilliantly to replacement James Curry, and the prop surged over to score. Worcester continued to hammer away and were finally rewarded when Jim Hamilton infringed at a line-out. Good retook the kicking duties and gave the Warriors a 16-13 lead with a minute to go. With the scrum feed the last play of the game, the hosts surely were home, but a massive shove by the Cherry and White's pack saw referee Doyle award Gloucester one last penalty and Burns levelled the match to send both sides home with two points. The draw ends Worcester's run of six consecutive losses stretching back to last season, but Hill will probably feel it's another that got away. Final score at six ways, Worcester 16, Gloucester 16.